Itaipu Binacional. An undertaking of two nations, united by a river and a single challenge. To promote development in Brazil and Paraguay. Itaipu today generates much more than hydroelectricity. It generates integration, social and environmental responsibility, and sustainability. All this with a single commitment, to build a better world, a future of new opportunities. That is why the Sustainability Management System was created, an initiative that permeates all the company's actions. In 2012, the plant proved once again its technical capacity to establish a new world record in energy production, surpassing our own mark and also that of Three Gorges, China's large hydroelectric dam. Because the power that drives Brazilians and Paraguayans is to overcome obstacles. Itaipu is used to surpassing limits. And now it also wants to be a global reference with its programs and actions. The Cultivating Good Water program has received national and international recognition and inspires other programs such as Iporã and Agua Buena in Argentina and Paraguay. A grassroots movement of permanent participation involving thousands of partners the Cultivating Good Water program benefits a population of an area of more than 8,000 square kilometers. Some of the various actions of the program are the recovery of micro watersheds, terracing, no-till farming, revamping roads, protection of riparian forests, and biodiversity. Around its lake region, Itaipu has 104 hectares of protected forests. And in its neighboring municipalities, it has recovered the springs and forests of the rivers. Based on environmental education, the beginning of the change that we want on the planet, the program operates through a network of educators who are building in each community a more sustainable society. Itaipu shares knowledge and experience through its active participation in the Center of Knowledge and Social Environmental Cares for the La Plata Basin and at the International Hydroinformatics Center in partnership with UNESCO. And the annual meetings of the Cultivating Good Water program have already engaged over 100,000 people in the last 10 years. To generate jobs and income in small farms, Itaipu encourages organic family farming from the growing all the way to the market. Fostering the cultivation and use of medicinal plants benefits farmers and users of the public health system. Fish farming using tank nets and the license for fish farms offer new perspectives of income for the fishermen in the region. Recyclable material collectors join efforts and associations to receive uniforms and equipment, including electric carts designed by Itaipu to turn waste into a source of income for their families. The communities of Indians find respect to their traditions and support from Itaipu in agricultural production, raising fish, the development of craft, and even the building of houses appropriate to their way of life. Itaipu also invests in the preservation of fauna and flora 
With the establishment of the biodiversity corridor, the spawning channel, and biological reserves where endangered species are reproducing in captivity. The waste from pigs and livestock that could pollute the rivers is transformed into biogas. This is a source of renewable and ecological energy that provides electricity for small farms and generates income for farmers. And with an additional advantage, the surplus of energy can be sold to the electric company. Itaipu contributes to the sustainable mobility of medium and large cities with the project to develop and assemble electric vehicles. The project also includes a line of research funded by the Ministry of Science and Technology for a better understanding of sodium battery technology. Knowledge is the basis of sustainable development. That is why the Itaipu Technological Park, or ITP, brings together several segments from tourism to state-of-the-art technology. ITP headquarters a business incubator that gives support to new entrepreneurs until they are ready for the market. The Nyandeva program teaches new techniques and allows local artisans to add value to their products. Courses from the Mercosur Institute for Advanced Studies, together with education institutions that make up an important university hub, such as the State University of Western Paraná, Unio Esti, with engineering courses and research laboratories, and UNILA, the Federal University of Latin America Integration, with its facilities under construction on an area donated by Itaipu. UNILA brings together students and teachers from Brazil, Paraguay, and other Latin American countries that together are building a new understanding on regional issues. Another public institution that strengthens the University Hub is the Federal Institute of Technology Education, with its headquarters also donated by Itaipu and that offers technical courses and vocational training. Itaipu has also incorporated into its organizational culture a respect to gender issues by giving professional value to women who have begun to hold higher positions of decision in the company's management. In recognition to this initiative, it received an award from the United Nations and Global Compact as an example company in gender equality and empowering women. But it's not only about what it produces, but also about what it consumes and finding a balance. Because of this, the Sustainable Procurement Program proposes a cultural change in the company's purchasing processes. The Health on the Border Program works with basic care, discussing the problems and promoting awareness and disease prevention campaigns. Also in the area of health, Itaipu maintains two modern hospitals, one in Brazil and another in Paraguay, that provide health services to the population of the cities closer to the plant. With the Child and Adolescent Protection Program, Itaipu has a decisive role in the fight against sexual abuse of children and young people and in giving support to mothers and their children at risk. To the young people that need a chance to grow professionally, Itaipu offers some alternatives. The Job Initiation and Incentive Program, the Permanent Program of Internship for University Students, and the Teen Yard Worker Program, focused on vocational and environmental training. In sports, Itaipu sponsors the Boys of the Lake program, a partnership with sports entities and the Brazilian Development Bank for maintaining a training center for over 100 canoeing and rafting athletes in Foz de Iguaçu. The Boys of the Lake already make up half of the permanent Brazilian national canoeing team. Another program in the field of sports is sailing which today counts with the participation of over 100 athletes, all coming from poor families and students in public schools. They train on Itaipu Lake 
to be future sailing champions. Itaipu is at the forefront of integrated management of tourism, an action that joined the public sector with private initiatives to strengthen Iguazu as a tourist destination. The company led the campaign to elect Iguazu Falls as one of the new Seven Wonders of Nature. It supports Trilha Jovem, a program that prepares future professionals of tourism, and coordinated the creation of the Fund for Developing and Promoting Tourism in Iguazu, the Iguazu Fund. These initiatives attracted more tourists and investments, both in infrastructure as well as for improving and expanding the hotel network and cuisine. And it changed the image of the city and region. Foz do Iguaçu began to be recognized as a quality tourist destination for recreation, events, eco-adventure and shopping. In each of these actions, Itaipu reflects its new vision. By 2020, to reach the best performance and best practices of sustainability in the world among companies generating electricity, boosting sustainable development and regional integration. But all of this still would not be much if it were not for the commitment and passion of our many employees. Because sustainability is in each one of us. Together we make a better Itaipu and a better world. Sustainable Itaipu. Our greatest energy is you.